So it's kind of late, but we went to, we made a late trip to Costco and got a rotisserie chicken. And I'm gonna show you what we do with them that seems to really um, use it to its full extent and less throwaway. So you need one of these, a gallon size at least, and it's gotta be the freezer one. The regular one probably won't hold up. Never tried it, but I doubt it would hold up. You can use one of these too, this end, no, not that end, but ours falls apart. So I just use it like that. So to the best of your coordination, <laughs> we're gonna put that little chicken in this bag. But first, I gotta get to tie things off. Okay, so I got it in the bag. Just a quick note, if it's hot, don't even try to handle it. Let it cool down some, but don't put it in the refrigerator, let it be cold. You want it to still be super moist so that it breaks apart easier. And then I close it up on both sides, leave a little in the open in the middle and press out some of the air to make it just easier to handle. Then with this, I hit the main part, the, like the breast. I'm right-handed, so this is, I have to fix this. <laughs> I'm very right-handed. Just to get, start that main part, like I say. smell the chicken through there now. So they just like knocked off the leg and stuff and broke up that breast. Okay, this part's hard to do left-handed, but you're just gonna go in there. And if it's too warm, just let it sit aside. And you're just gonna, you're just gonna massage it all. And it's pulling the meat off the bone, basically. Now, when we used to <laughs> get one of these chickens, we'd have couple dinners and the dogs would have a couple dinners and since we started doing this it's just a lot more meat it's amazing how much comes off that used to just be left on the carcass now if you're a soup maker and you want that carcass to have a little meat that's different um, one difference though is if you like sliced chicken for like a sandwich or something then this might not be the way to go but uh, you know, but if you want chicken salad, either chicken on a salad, like a Caesar salad or something, um, or to make a chicken salad, then this is really a good way to go. Yeah, it's still pretty warm right there. <laughs> so I wouldn't want to use my hands outside of this at this moment. See, like the leg, I just pulled that meat right off the leg there, just by squishing it right off. And then I save the skin, and after I put the meat in the Tupperware, I put the skin on top of the meat just to keep it moist in the fridge. But I'm getting ahead of myself. But anyway, ouch, some bone stuck through there, I felt it. Right there, that big bone right there, which is the breastbone. Yeah. So the rest I will probably pull off with my hands it's so easy though, it's amazing how easy. But I can't really, I need both hands, so I don't know if I can show you doing it. So I just use this container here. And then, and then like I said, it's still a little bit warm. I would normally, if I wasn't shooting the video, I'd probably wait a little bit. And I just drop the meat in here, and I just use my fingers to go through it pull out any bones or any meat off of the bones. Yeah. And you get a lot of it when you do it this way, especially if it's still kind of warm. You can really, you know, get the bone, the meat off the bones really, really well. All right, so. I'm just gonna leave these big pieces. You could break them into smaller pieces. At this point I won't. Okay, so here is some skin. I'm gonna set that to the side. Like I said, I'll put that on the top when I'm finished to keep wishing. Okay, so here's a piece. It has bone. 
So I'm just gonna get the meat off this piece of bone here. So much easier than a cold carcass. And some of this is just like, I don't know what they call ligaments. And like, here's a bunch of bony part of the back, which normally I wouldn't even probably bother with when we, they were whole um, chickens, hardly. Yeah, and here's part of the breast. You can see that. We'll clean that right off. Normally we cut right close to it, but there's normally something left. Get it all over there. So like I said, we use it in salads. We uh, use it in an omelet. We, you could use it in enchiladas. You could use it all kinds of stuff. And then the dogs, <laughs> they get their share too. Oh, don't cut it into smaller pieces yet because I just want to keep it as moist as possible. Okay, so here's a big old glob of it. I'll just pull this off this bone. And uh, that's it. That's how it's done. I'll show you the results in a moment. Okay, so this is what you're left like in the end. It's this thing of bones, cartilage, and some fat. There's the skin, and then there's all this chicken meat just ready to go. Like I say, I leave some of the bigger pieces, I just leave them together so that they retain their moisture, but you can cut them off when you go to use them if you need to. And then the last and least favorite thing is you have a, this a single-use plastic. I don't like to use single-use plastic, but I don't have anything that's reusable, washable um, to do that in. If I had something, I would. But anyway, that is it. And it is so convenient. The only real waste is the very tip end of a wing. Now I'm just going to put this fat um, skin on top of it. I'll smash this down, even it out, put this on it just to keep it um, moist. Then I'll put this on it and it'll go in the fridge and we'll use it for probably three days and maybe another day even that the dogs will get it. And they love it. They're down here. They love when I do this because they get little bites because there's always little pieces flying off. But yeah, I just pull it all apart with my hands and it's a mess, but take your rings off, take your jewelry off, roll your sleeve up.